What's going on guys, Bowtie Brem here once again. And today we're doing a review on the 20% windshield. This is what I call the uh, mind your business tent. I mean. It's mind your business, you can't see in there. But do you wanna go that dark on a windshield? Today, I'm gonna let you know. I just wanted Let's to hit on the fact that it's really mind your business tent, I mean. You can't even see the rear view mirror or anything, and it's uh, not really overcast, but there's still sunlight out. Um, as you'll see, it's not that dark in the inside. That's daylight. That's 20% tent. That's 5 over 20. But during the day, there's no, uh, no visibility issues. Um, I will say a couple things I've noticed kind of weird. So I've actually noticed driving with 20% windshield tent in the rain actually um, makes you see more through the rain like the rain droplets don't um, mess up your vision as much I guess I'll call it so I was able to drive without even using my wipers when it was raining at a good constant pace which is uh, I guess a pro but also if it was raining at night that's a con because it's gonna Probably, I haven't dealt with rain at night, so I don't know that, but I feel like it would uh, definitely uh, hurt your vision. Um, another thing is that it's awesome. Um, like I said, if you want the privacy in your vehicle, I don't know, everyone tints their vehicles for different reasons, but if you want privacy, I mean, that's ultimate privacy. I got some sunlight out now that I can uh, show you guys what I mean. Even on sunlight, I mean, you can't see anything. I mean, it's really mind your business tent. There goes a cop. Mind your business. He's minding his business because I got the tent. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a little driving video. Okay, guys, this is just, um, I call it overcast out. You know, there's sunlight, but it's not too bright. That's normal. That's 20%. Normal versus 20. It kind of looks like... Um, a filter on a phone that enhance the colors of stuff. You look at that, the 20%. And that, I think it actually looks more vibrant um, from the 20% windshield. But yeah, there's no seeing issues or anything like that. This is 5% um, over 20% and there's no issues. That's 20%. So during the day, you're completely fine, which is good to know. Um, yep, we're gonna be on to the nighttime test. Figured I'd get a quick shot of the awkward time where the sun has set, but it's still light out. So that's daylight versus the 20%. As you can see, like I said before, it kind of just looks like a filter. All right, guys, this is what it would look like on a road. That's the 20% windshield. That's no tent. That's tent. That's no tint, that's tint. And look at how much it dulls the person passing's lights. That's bright, nice and dark. It doesn't hurt your eyes at all, even if someone's has a bright side. So once again, that's no tint at all, that's tint. It is darker, as you can see. Here's a good comparison. All right, so to wrap it up, if you want the mind your business tint, I would definitely go with the 20% windshield, just, um. I know if people are in cities and stuff, you're not going to want it because you get pull, pulled over. But if you're in a more rural area, that you'll be fine. Um, definitely, if you don't have really bright HID or LED headlights, um, you're gonna you're gonna hate it. So you need bright headlights. That's they go hand in hand with each other. If you do nighttime driving, but honestly, I love the privacy. I don't think I would ever go. I had my windshield no tint, and then I had 35, and then I went to 20. Um, if I were to tint another vehicle's windshield, I would actually go to 20% again, just because I like the privacy. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, you guys remember to like and subscribe, leave me a comment on what you want to see next. Um, yeah, um, I would give the 20% windshield a 10 out of 10, but that's just because I love my tent. Peace out, guys.